Hey guys, Brocode here. In this video, we are gonna see about the Python data types. So let's begin. What are data types? Data types represent the type of value that says the types of operation can be performed in the particular data. So these are the few data types we are gonna learn in this video. Just are basically numbers in Python. They are known as int. So int is the data type name for integers. Example are 3400 and the whole numbers and they are immutable. Immutable means that once they are assigned, they cannot be reassigned. So let's open VS Code and explore integers. So I'm just gonna create a new file and name it as data types.py. And now I'm just gonna do this. I will do some mathematical operations. So to do this, I will just type here print. Put a um, bracket here and type 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So now let's run this code and let's see what do we get. And here we get 7. So 3 plus 4 is 7. So here we get a 7. So now let's do a subtraction sum. So to do this, I'm just gonna type your print. Then I'll just type your brackets and type your 5 minus 6. 5 minus 6 is minus 1, so now let's run this code and here we get minus 1. Now we are gonna do this, we will type uh, division sum. So to do this, I'm just gonna type here print, put a bracket over here and type 12 divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, so now let's check and here we get 6.0, which means 6, and now it's now let's do a multiplication sum to do this i'm just gonna type your print put a bracket here and type 12 into 2 12 into 2 is 24 now let's run this code and here we get 24 so in this sum we have that 12 divided by 2 and we we have got the answer as 6 which is the quotient but if you want the reminder you you should use the mod operator to do this you should just type print put bracket and do this you should just type the number and put a person sign and end with the number and i will just run this code and here we get reminder zero because the reminder comes as zero so it returns zero decimal point numbers they are known as float examples are here 2.4 40.0 and etc if a zero comes after a point it still remains as a float and they are immutable so now let's open vs code and explore floating point so now i'm just gonna do a floating point number addition to do this i'm just gonna type your print put brackets type your 3.4 plus 3.4 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. so 3.4 plus 3.4 is equal to 6.8 so now i will just run this code and here we get 6.8 so now we will clarify the type to do this, I'm just gonna type here print, put brackets, brackets. I'm just gonna type type, and after this, one more bracket, and then I need to do this. I need to type any number such as 3.45. So type is used to clarify the type. What is the data type for the particular data? So I'm just gonna run this code, and it explains class as float. So the class or the data type is float. So here we get float. So now let's get into get into our next data type. So our next data type is string. A string in Python is a sequence of characters. They are known as str. Examples are your hello by um, integer with a string. It is it's a string because we have typed in a number here and but. It has inverted commas and they are immutable. So now you open VS Code and now I'm just gonna do CTO enter. Assign a variable A and put an equal sign and put uh, inverted comma and in the inverted comma I'm just gonna type your hello world and now I will just call out the variable A and we will run this code and here we get hello world. So now we have assigned a variable known as a as hello world and we again call a which is hello world 
and we get hello world. So let's get to into our next data type. So our next data type is list. List are used to store multiple items in a single variable. They are known as list. Examples: square bracket, fourteen, a string, by, and then a float, twenty point three. So here you can see commas, bs are separated, and there you go hundred, a string, name as orange, then float, then square brackets and square brackets at the starting, and they are mutable. Mutable means that once they are assigned, they can be reassigned. So it's the opposite of immutable. So now I'm just gonna open VS Code, hit enter, assign a variable known as b. And I'm just gonna put your square brackets. Type your um, row code. Then I'm just gonna do a, a, an integer known as 34. Then separate by again by a comma. And in there I'm just gonna type 34.56. So a string named as row code. Then an integer 34. And then a floating point number 34.56. Now let's call out B. So Rudus, I'm just gonna type here print, put bracket and type in B. And now I will just run the code and here we get the same as we have it on here. So the row code, the string, and then integer 34 and then a float named as 34.56. So now we will head over to our next data type. So our next data type is dictionaries. Dictionaries are used to store data value in key value pairs. They are known as dict. Example curly bracket, oranges, phi, and then separate by comma, apple, then a colon, and then again an integer, and it ends with a curly bracket. And they are mutable. So let's explore this in VS Code. So I'm just gonna hit clear enter, type in here as C and then just gonna do is I will just type here a curly bracket and then this curly bracket I will name a string as views then put a colon here and type here 35 so I have got 35 views separated by commas and then just gonna type here subs oh sorry subscribers and then again put a colon over here and then type your 12 subscribers and now we will call out c to do this i'm just gonna type your print then brackets and call out c and run this code and here we get view 35 view 35 subscribers 12 so this was dictionaries now let's get to into our next data type so our next data type is tuples tuples are mostly same as list but instead of square brackets, there are the simple brackets. The data type is top examples um, a integer, a string, and then a floating point number. Again, an integer, a string, and then a floating point number, and they are immutable. So let's explore this in VS Code. I will just hit your enter, type in a variable known as D, and, and just put in your a simple bracket and there and I will type a string known as python and then separate by commas and type here again a string known as vs code and I will just again call out d with I'll just type a print and in those brackets I'm just going to type d and here we and here we get python score and now this was tuples so now let's get into our next data type so our next data type is sets sets are mostly like tuples and list but instead of square brackets and brackets there are curly brackets they are known as set examples goodbye hello with a string and sets are mutable so i will just open this code hit enter i will assign a variable known as e put the equal sign and put curly brackets here and then I will just type your 34 then separate by comma and type in a string over here such as um, 
or range and then I will just call out again E so I'll just run the code over here and we get 34 or range so this was sets and now we will uh, head over to our next data type so our next data type is boolean boolean is our last data type a boolean indicates logical true or false they are known as bool examples are here if 2 is smaller than 3 then it's true and then if 2 is greater than 3 it false true's value have 1 and false value have 0 and they are immutable so i'll just open vs code type in a variable known as f put an equal sign here and i'm just gonna type 3 is Just type 3 is smaller than 4 and I will just call out F and I will just run this code. So here we get it's true and now we will run our last boolean condition. So I will just type here print 5 is greater than 6. So 5 is not greater than 6. 6 so let's see what do we get so we get false so thanks for watching this video and peace